for anybody who hasn't been to the dream world lego store before it's located to the right of the dream world entrance as you're looking at it now i did want to answer that question because i see it posted online a lot do you need a dream world pass to actually go to the lego shop no you do not so i hope this answers everybody's question if you know somebody who'd like the answer give them the link to this video so they can physically see the differences between the entrances the jurassic park t-rex and gate is back in stock that's one that's been difficult to get for a while so as we're looking around at the lego shop today there are some restocks of very popular sets and I believe there's more turning up in the next few days as well. Now the Razor Crest is back in stock. I know that was very, very popular. We have plenty of the Stormtrooper head and the TIE Fighter head, but none of the Boba Fett heads in stock at the moment. Not sure when they're going to be getting more of that. Plenty of Ninjago sets. If you're into the architecture sets, the White House is back in stock as well. That was out of stock for quite a while. Not many of the Harry Potter sets in stock at the moment. Now if you're chasing the Hayride Lego set, as I said in my previous video, it has sold out. So that's no longer available hopefully they'll get some more in but i can't guarantee it before halloween also the christmas multi-build set is back in stock that seems to come out every year not sure when they're going to change that one up again the elf house is still out of stock hopefully they should be getting more soon but uh, no eta on when it'll be back in stock Now there was a couple of Nintendo Lego sets on the shelf. Not sure if they're still there now. But none of the treehouse available, unfortunately. However, I was just down at the Rubina Lego store yesterday and they had about six of the treehouses in stock. The Lego store is currently running 30% off the Lego Movie 2 sets. Plenty of the Disney Castle and Disney Train sets available. The Disney Castle is a really good set to do if you've got a few hours to spare. Now if you're really quick you might be able to get hold of the Diego and Lally Harry Potter set. They had a couple of them left in stock. With Halloween coming up, you might want to consider some of the hidden side sets. They're pretty cool for a Lego Halloween setup if you'd like to do that. A fair amount of Lego Creator sets available as well as the roller coaster which is one that's been out of stock in a few stores now one of my favorite creator sets at the moment is the pirate ship because you can change it into three different things if you're getting value out of these videos please hit that subscribe button make sure if you're in the dreamworld lego shop that you join their vip program basically you gain points by purchases that you can use on future purchases as well as you'll get emails for early access to certain sets they come out early that are available before the rest of the public can get them now another question that needed answering was does the lego shop accept cash no not at the moment none of the lego shops accept cash at the moment
Now there's plenty of the brick heads in stock. They're quite popular at the moment. I'm a fan of the Disney ones myself. Make sure you put on gloves before you touch the pieces. Now it's good to see a couple of changes on the wall, not too many, but just enough to make it a little bit more interesting. So you might be after some of them pieces. Now if you're visiting the Dreamwell Lego store, and if you're after a particular set for Christmas, whether it be for your kids or for yourself, get it while you can. Uh, because I'm not sure exactly what's going to be in stock towards Christmas or what that's going to be available. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. That'll just help you keep up to date on what's happening at the Dreamwell Lego store. And I also do the Rubina store and the Chermside store as well. Now also Dreamworld has removed their builder minifigure stations from the floor on the shop floors. So that tells me that we're not going to be able to build minifigures for quite some time, which is understandable with COVID, but it's a bit disappointing for anybody who wants to build their own minifigures.
Thanks for watching everyone. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.